Hi guys, uh, so this is a uh, next video for the OCR GCSE syllabus to kind of help you do some basic string manipulation and how to understand it. Now, if I need to say my name, I might get an input through the computer by saying name equals input, what is your name? And that's currently coming in as a string. Uh, so I could then say print, uh, hello, and say name and what that will do is whatever i type in it will say hello back so let's run that what's your name raimondo and it says hello back to me okay so that's basic stuff um and that's my variable if i had a variable there called cat cat name that would also need to be cat name um and so on. So just so you understand, again, a little bit of a recap of how a variable works. Now, I want to also find the name of the person. So what I can do is the surname. So I can say surname equals input. What is your surname? Uh, print. This time, I'm going to show you how I can actually say hello and I can join two of them together using an operator. So I can say plus first name, sorry, first plus name, plus I can join in a string of blank text here, plus surname. So what that's going to say is hello, name and surname. So let's run that again. What is your name? Ray. What is your surname? Chambers. And it says, hello, Ray Chambers. So by using the plus operator, you can join strings together. What you'll need to notice, though, uh, no, is if you are doing it at the beginning, so name plus it needs to be at the beginning, or if you do it at the end, So you can see wherever you've got it at, you need to make sure the plus is before or after the string of text that you've got there. Now, I'm going to show you some uh, quick tips here on how you can actually manipulate the string so that you can just find specific information. So uh, I'm not going to bother running this, but I just want to show you, I'm going to remove this. So I know that my surname is... Uh, chambers when I type it in. But what I can actually do is I can say uh, print surname. And if I put a square bracket, I can actually pick the character that I want to appear. So if I run this now, name Ray Chambers, that's only going to show me the letter C because I've said I want it at position zero, which is actually the first item. Now, if I did a uh, two and run this again, you can see it's picked the third because we go zero, one, two. So that's why it's picked that letter. Now, another thing I'm going to show you is how you can actually change everything to go uppercase. So if I said surname equals surname dot upper and I print back surname, notice what happens. Everything goes uppercase and that would work exactly the same if you did surname equals surname dot lower. And I'm going to print out surname again just to show you the difference. What is your name? Ray Chambers. So you can see it's done the uppercase and the lowercase. So there is some basic string manipulation for you as part of strand E, which you need to understand and use. 
The alternative thing that you might want to do is you might want to find out the total characters. So by using the string, I can find this out. So if I wanted to know total characters equals len, open up brackets, I can say surname, and I can find the length of surname. So let's run this. What's your name? Bray. Chambers. And there you have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight characters in total and that has worked. So I hope that's been a useful video to introduce you to basic string manipulation and I hope that it may help you with your GCSE in computer science. Thank you for watching.